welcome to the motel, Shiksa. We won't leave the light on for you. Because what, do I work for the electric company? Yes, we were wondering if you had a room available. Sorry, we're all booked up. Cher is in town. You won't find a room in the city. No room? Joseph, what are we going to do? Don't worry, I got this covered. No rooms, eh? Well, perhaps you have a room for my good friend, Fistful of Sand. Where's your money? I spent it on sand. I'm sorry, I can't help you. But sir, please, my wife is with child and about to give birth. And I am with Burrito and about to do the same. Sir, if you don't leave now, I'm gonna have to call IXII. Yeah, we, we did one of those earlier. Yours is better, though. We probably should have waited for yours. Oh, oh, Joseph, my water just broke. It's time. Oh, my God. Please, you've got to have some place for us. We're desperate. Well... There's a manger out back. You can stay there. That's fine. That's fine. We'll take it. Bethlehem, I have one question for you. Do you believe in life after all? <sighs> See, I told you she'd open with that. So Joseph and Mary were turned away from the inn. But, Dad, I still don't understand the whole immaculate conception thing. How can anyone get pregnant without having sex? Oh, there's lots of stories of that, Meg. Cleveland's got a cousin who had eight girlfriends get pregnant, and he says he's not responsible for a single one. Good guy. You shake his hand, it feels like you're touching a nice briefcase. But back to our story. All right, here we are. This seems pretty gross. I can't believe my baby's gonna be the son of God. Looks like all those years fighting off my own father's advances have finally paid off. What should we name him? Well, this is kind of like a barn. We could call him Barney. Yeah, maybe. Or I kind of always like Tristan. Oh, my God, you want him to get the crap beat out of him? They will crucify him with a name like that. No, no, no. What are you doing? How long you been there? Those names is no good. Look, why don't y'all just give me a list? I'll run him up to God and see if he picks one. No. No. That's the name of a champagne. No. No, terrible. These are all just terrible. Relax, God. You want me to get y'all some wine and cheeses? Wait, what'd you just say? Cheeses. You want some cheeses? And that's why you're allowed to eat as much mozzarella as you want in any church. So the three wise men set off again on their journey. You sure this is the right way? Yes, I'm sure. We follow the star. Are you sure that's a star? We've had this conversation. Yes, it's a star. It's got flashing red lights. Oh, my God. It is a plane. I said that yesterday, you stupid idiot. Hey, thanks for coming out on such late notice, Doc. Oh, you don't have to thank me. This is a big deal. It's not every day that God bestows a woman with his son. Has it ever happened before? Yeah, once. But the woman drank during her pregnancy. The kid came out a real lemon. I turned this water into poo. Uh-huh. I also turned this fish into poo. Ah. Do you want your birthday present? I think I know what it is. Ha! <laughs> it's a cashmere sweater! Oh, wow. That's actually really nice. And now it's poo! Oh! Well, here we are. Okay, guys, squeeze in, Bible photographer. Okay, we're smiling, we're happy to see Jesus. There we go. Hey guys, watch your step in there. That floor's gonna be dripping in virgin olive oil. That's kinda Gross. hot. Hello, we are the three wise men. We came here following a star. Those two statements contradict each other. We also come bearing gifts. I brought frankincense. I brought myrrh. And I brought you a breast pump, which in these times is just a guy. When do I start? Oh, he's coming! Oh, it hurts so bad! God, I hate working on Christmas. Oh, here he comes! <laughs> and B.C. turns to A.D. How's everybody doing? Oh, he's a miracle! Hey, if you're a virgin, how come I shot out of there like a greased-up cannonball?
Thank you.